five different reasons why men find you boring. Number one, you are too desperate. Let's say you're in a club, right? Where obviously you're expecting that when you go to the club, guys are going to come up to you. Guys are going to want your number and things like that. Let's say in that scenario, you're standing in the club, you're enjoying your time with your girlfriend. You guys are dancing some good music, some good vibes. Then a man comes up to you and he literally gets on his knees and starts screaming at the top of his lungs over the music. I love you so much. You are the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my life. I can't believe you're a goddess walking on this earth. He's screaming so loud that you can literally hear him over the bass of the music in the club. I would do absolutely anything for you. I would just, I would crawl on glass for you. I'd let you fart in my mouth. I think we can all acknowledge that that would make someone less attractive to us. The desperation is always going to repel people away from you because when you're desperate for them, it always makes them feel like there's no more mystery. There's no puzzle. There's nothing to chase after. There's nothing to figure out. There's no fun or interesting aspects to you as a human being simply because you are so desperate for me. It doesn't leave me any room to desire or want you. So that should tell you all you need to know as it relates to the way your energy projects outwardly will drastically change your approach will also drastically change the way people receive you. Number two, you are always available. You cannot be always available to people. They will quickly find you uninteresting. I'm going to get mad. I don't care if you have to fake being busy because it's better for a man to feel like in order for him to get you, he has to do things to get you in order for him to get access to you in order for him to get on a date with you in order for him to be able to hang out with you. It takes work. It's much better for him to feel like that than for him to feel like if I call her at 3 a.m., she'll answer. If I call her at 4 a.m., she'll wake up from her sleep and she'll come to wherever I need her to go. Tell me if this has ever happened to you. A guy's been super interested in you that you're not really interested in. And he's offering you things maybe to take you out on a date, to spend money on you, to buy you gifts. And even though you're not really that interested in him, you allow him to do all the things he's going to try to do to impress you. What happens is when they realize that you're not always available, a level of respect comes for the fact that they have to earn their time with you. Number three, you can't say no. No just gives it that that flavor, that spice that really we all need in our lives. Nobody wants it to be too easy, especially when it comes to relationships. But the problem is when you really like a guy or when you're really interested in a guy, you want to make it easy for him. And even more so if you're a chronic people pleaser, because a chronic people pleaser is always going to be desperate for people to like them and want them and want to be with them and show them attention and love and support and validate them. What a man truly wants, I don't care how red pill they are, how muscly they are, how much they want a submissive woman, they still want to have respect for their wife. Because guys realize if I want a woman that I don't have to constantly regulate that knows the difference between right and wrong, I have to be with the woman that already knows how to say no to things. Number four, you have no independence. If you don't, you'll become very boring very fast. It's the same thing when I talked about being always available. The guys do not want to feel like they're your entire world and you have nothing going on for yourself outside of just them. They also don't want to feel like your life will fall apart if they don't do everything for you. I think sometimes we get submission mixed up with doing and saying nothing. This is why it's so important to do things for you, even while you're in a relationship, because you, you know, when people always say, oh, I lost myself in the relationship. What they're really talking about is losing their independence in the relationship, losing their ability to do anything for themselves in the relationship. And when they become too, in, uh, too dependent, they lose their ability to even know who they are as an individual. And so when your identity is solely just the relationship, you'll find it very difficult whenever he wants to do anything for himself. And then you'll go back to being in the place of being in that desperate, needy, 
fearful state where anytime he chooses to do anything that's not spend all his time and energy on you, you're all discombobulated and out of whack. Where you're on this roller coaster where the smallest thing he could say, oh, you know, I just I just want to spend some time alone or I just want to go to the store alone or I just want to do something alone or maybe I don't want to hang out today. You lose your mind. It's like the world is falling apart. But what also happens is because nothing interesting is happening in your life, they also start looking at you as less than. They start losing respect for you because they realize the only way you could possibly be this invested in every single little detail about my life is if you had no life. You're interesting because you have other things going on that's not just about me. But when you have nothing going on for yourself outside of just that guy, that makes you boring. And number five, you don't stand up for yourself. You only get the respect in this world that you demand. That goes for guys, girls, that goes for however you identify, which is why I always tell you guys, write down your wish list, understand what you want and expect from a man. That way, you know, very quickly, if it's not that, because when you have that clarity, you'll quickly be able to say, oh, no, 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 I know I'm not here to be in a relationship with no man who calls me outside of my name when we're in an argument. There's going to be consequences if you do that. You're not going to have access to me. Either you fix that and adjust that or you're done. And like I said, some of them will just, you know, go about their day and they won't come back. But then a percentage of those men will come back and be like, you know what? I you're right. I shouldn't be disrespecting you. I shouldn't treat you like that. I got to fix the way that I approach you in this relationship because they'll realize that that's not what a real relationship is about. They've just been accustomed to being able to do that. And because no one has said anything or spoken up for themselves, they continue to disrespect. So when they come across you, this is why I say a certain percentage of them will throw a fit because they'll be like, oh, my God, you're not one of the girls I can disrespect like all the other girls. And it's it's like a it's like a splash of cold water. They'll be like, oh, I was I was anticipating I would be able to disrespect you like I disrespect all the other girls. They don't say anything about it. They realize they need to be with a woman that can say no and stand up for themselves because that woman will be able to self-regulate and not fall into the trap of all the different temptation that goes on in the world and all the different other men that might be trying to pursue her. Because as a man, you don't want to uh, feel emasculated. The moment you let go of your girl's hand, she's over talking to this guy, talking to that guy, flirting with this guy, flirting with that guy. And everyone's looking at him like, bro, that's your girl. That's your girl. And in order for her to be able to self-regulate, she has to have the ability to say no. She has to have the ability to stand up for herself. And so the mature men who are ready to be in a serious relationship realize that. And they actually are seeking out the women who can say no and who can stand up for themselves. 